Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. You're watching one of my New Zealand travel videos and today I'll show you some roadside scents in Auckland. New Zealand is a country in the southwestern Pacific Ocean made of two main islands, North and South Island. Auckland has 1.5 million population, a third of New Zealand's population lives in Auckland, and 39% are born outside New Zealand. In this video, I'll concentrate on beautiful Auckland downtown. Roadside scents were taken from various parts of Auckland downtown, New Zealand. Thank you for watching this video. Forget about subscribing this channel. Forget about liking this video. There will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you. All the buildings around nearby, you're basically looking at apartments. There are a couple of hotels in there, but predominantly you're looking at apartments. And just going back to the other apartment building, just we've gone past. A few months ago, they were pre selling the. Um, Oh, sorry, that building, I said, just off to the left here, just out in front of us, so we might get a bit of a glimpse. Just there, you see a skeleton looking building with cranes up it. That's the building I'm talking about. Yeah, So as we come around the corner here, just into the left here where these brollies are and those people are wandering in there. Um, on the other side of these buildings, you'd be sport for choice for like cafes, bars, restaurants. Um, that area is called the Viaduct Harbour. A very popular dining area. Oh, we'll So this street here turning right, this Key Street, Q U A Center in. And Celebrity Solstice here on the left, and I'm not sure what the other one is. Oh, the Golden Princess, one of the princess ships. K Road, where St. Kevin's Arcade is, lap around. It won't be finished until 2024, and costing about $4 billion. So the ferry building's on the left here. On the right there, if you look in there, you see the very old building in there. That was the original um, post office for downtown, the central post office. As I say, a lot of these buildings get converted into something else, which has also happened to that one. That one's now the train station. Just on the left here, you see the red fence. It's a very historical harbour board fence. Basically marks the boundary between the city area and the harbour area. It redeveloped about 10 years ago. It's a wonderful little area through here. There's lots of cafes, restaurants, designer shops, etc. On Saturday mornings in this open space here, they actually have like a wonderful little farmer's market. I don't get through here. Uh, to the right here's a lovely little laneway, if you like, um, steak. There's a lovely little Angus Steakhouse down there. Anyway, and to the left there is High Street. It's one of my favourite streets. It runs parallel with Queen Street. And up there you feel a lot of little designer shops, cafes, restaurants, art galleries. And actually there's a wonderful little souvenir shop up there. If you're looking for genuine New Zealand souvenirs or gifts, it's a shop called Polynesia. It's run like an arts collective, it's run by the artists for the artists. So the prices are really reasonable and they make out a nice range of products. The dental. It's one of the oldest pubs in town. And if you like seafood like me, I'm a bit of a seafood addict. They do these wonderful mussel seafood pops in there of different flavours. Uh, also, if you wandered into Falcon Lane there, it's a couple of nice little bars called Messy Bar and My Bar. They're more than bars actually, they're little eateries as well. And they're open into the evening, you can get some of the into the later into the evening. 
just here on the left is the very iconic uh, Kiwi iconic department store called Farmers. And up on the side there, if you look up, you might notice the, the big man up there in the red suit and his, his pet reindeer. I'm not too sure what his name is, but uh, yeah, the other side there. Oh, there we go, we're stopping again, there we go. Also down here, a number of historical buildings, especially on the left down here, there's some very large mansions. These were all uh, constructed, owned, occupied by very wealthy merchants in, the, in early Auckland. They're all now owned by the Auckland City Council and the university makes use of most of them. Just on the intersection and here on the right, you see a little wooden fence sand cottage. That early 1800s from about 1810 through to 1860 of all different denominations, different flavours. Coming up now we're going right back through the university. Up on the left here is the Faculty of Arts, its own music, humanities, etc. On the right it's mainly to do with administration. A bit of an issue because housing so expensive, also renting is expensive. Over recent years there's been a few before the white man or the Pakeha turned up. The Maoris fought extensively amongst themselves, particularly the tribe from the north called Napui. They did frequent raiding parties down through the Auckland and Waikato regions. Right now though, we're on the rim of an old volcanic crater on the western rim here along with the hospital. Right though, there's a lovely example of Victorian style glass houses. There's two of them there. And they're called the Winter Gardens and they're free to visit. Well worth it too if you like gardens. At the day at 1.30, there is a charge for that. There is also a charge to go into the museum. Other areas in there with facilitating bus service that runs through Parnell from downtown. The inner link ones are green bus and the outer link ones are orange buses. They both do different loops in the city. They're actually quite worth just hopping on and riding anyway from the front. Um, but they do, they both go to different areas except container port. This is the largest container port in the country and it's responsible for handling about 60% of our container traffic which adds up to just over 100,000 containers per year. Based on restaurants over there, ferries go over there every half an hour right through to 11 o'clock at night. Departing from that ferry building we saw earlier on. Also if you've got a bit of energy, it's well worth walking up that uh, knobby hill on the left there called Mount Victoria. Away for cemetery, it's Uru Pa. We will see their current Mariah meeting house when we go up Bastion Point shortly. So, all the cruise ships, container ships come down right through here. Also, just off to the left, after we've gone around the bend here and past the Tamaki Yacht Club here on the left, you'll see that wooden lighthouse just out in the bay that uh, historical carry lighthouse, I showed you the little one of it down Marine Alley, sitting out there on Bing Rock, still used. 